Mm, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Ah, that's good stuff, man. And um, I'm going to take this apple cider vinegar with the mother, mother earth, mother nature inside of it and go ahead and throw some of that in there too. Now you're probably wondering why the hell do I go through all the trouble of doing this or why am I going out of my way to drink this nasty concoction or whatever. Three letters, my boy. A, B, S. Abs. Y'all want to see what my abs look like? I'm going to show y'all what my abs look like current day right now. This was taken last night. Current day. This is before I drank last night. Because, you know, it's important that when you drink, things things change a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, that's what the abs looking like right now, my boy. Ba bam Getting swole on these niggas, man. And this is the day before. I'm making progress. You know, making progress, making progress, looking good. You know what I'm saying, my man. Ba bam That's why I'm drinking this lemon water. It shreds the fat off of your body everywhere as long as you work out. As long as you work out on top of that and drinking this lemon water, it shreds the fat everywhere. So let's see what you guys think. Um, you're going to hack it and give it to the cops. Shouldn't come any things major, says he is. Um, DM is like, oh, disgusting. Apple cider vinegar. You don't like it? Hey, what's up, uh, uh, Skyler? How you doing, man? Uh, Andrea, I need homebrew for my Switch. Oh, but are you, Andrea, are you going to be... The question is, are you going to be pirating games or are you just going to be using homebrew to play your legitimate copies of games that you have bought? I will say this. This is probably the only thing I'm going to do. I have Skyrim, physical cartridge. I got Mario Odyssey, physical cartridge. And I also have Legend of Zelda, physical cartridge and Xenoblade. Let me tell you something. I personally regret buying them physical cartridge. It is the biggest pain in the world for me to have to look around in my room and find my Switch case or dig in my backpack to find where my games are located right here to dig in my stuff and find my games and then pop out that cartridge and change it. It's so much work. It takes too much. It's a headache. Seriously, I can't stand it. So I might be taking those physical game cartridges and backing them up and then putting them on my Nintendo Switch and then being able to just pop and jump between my games like nothing, like it's that quick. Because at one moment, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have, to like, I have this thing about me where I will play a game for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I'll get tired of it and I want to jump right off of that game and jump right into the next game without wasting any time and that's why most of my purchases are digital purchases but i also realized that digital purchases are not the way to go because i had a ps4 i got banned on my ps4 account and they blocked me from playing all my games okay if i'm banned from getting online that's cool but you can't block me from playing games that i purchase with my hard-earned dollars is that are you serious about that that doesn't make any sense so that showed me the one dangerous threat at any moment nintendo can choose to just Get out of here, boy. And now all my games are gone. So I, I stopped buying digital games unless they're Japanese games. And Xenoverse 2 was released in Japanese before it was released here, as well as Disgaea. So I bought both of those in the Japanese store. That's why they're on the digital digital cartridge. I mean, digitally stored on my Nintendo Switch. Excuse me. So why did they block me, though? They blocked me because... So PlayStation Plus subscription was set to renew automatically on its own. I had had PlayStation Plus, but I stopped using my PS4 for probably like seven or eight months. Didn't even log in, just became a Netflix slave, right? So seven, eight months, I didn't play PS4. The next thing you know, one month I deposit. This month, it was like, I think it was back in like August or September. I deposited money into my bank account to pay my phone bill, specifically money, the exact amount that I needed just to pay my phone bill, which was like 130 bucks or something like that, right? It's me and Mikado's phone bill combined. So I put that in my account. The minute I put it in my account, then now Sony snatched the money out like whoosh, PlayStation Plus subscription. Boy, what? I canceled my subscription. How the heck are you snatching money out of my account? So I mean realizing that, look, end of the day why am i gonna go to sony and ask them to refund me my money when they're not the bank you know what i'm saying the bank is who controls my money not sony i'm not gonna ask them to give me my money back it already says in the playstation plus term or in the playstation terms that literally all sales are final no refunds except for where required by law it says that right there on their shit so why would i call them so anyways i call my bank 
I dispute it. I tell them I did not authorize the purchase or, or transaction. And on top of that, I had canceled my subscription and it was not supposed to happen. Got a new card issued to me, got my funds back. Then I get go home and I get on my PlayStation and just to j jump on Netflix. And you can't even get on Netflix without logging into PSN. So I click log into PSN and it says, your account has been banned, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? So I called up Sony and I'm like, dudes, what, what is going on? Why am I banned? You know, if anything, you're supposed to just take back that PlayStation Plus subscription away from my account. Apparently, it's not possible for them to take the PlayStation Plus subscription away from my account. So they ended up telling me that had you called us first then we would have probably refunded you the money or worked something out with you and blah 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 you should have called us first before you disputed it and da, da 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 and i'm like this is what i said to the representative i'm like so you mean to tell me that in your terms of purchase it says that if you purchase it it's final and you don't do refunds except for where required by a law meaning that someone stole my credit card and bought something that, that was not authorized at all then you'll refund it if charges are pressed so you're saying that in this instance where no one stole my credit card where you guys just took money off my card I was supposed to call you back, call you and ask you for the money back when it clearly states on the purchase page that sales are final and you're not returning no money. So end of the day, I called my bank and I told him that and he was like, well, unfortunately, you're banned until you pay $60 to get back to get your account back online because your account has PlayStation Plus and we can't allow you to log in when you don't have your if you don't have your, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like they just carried it like that. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Screw it, dude. This is whatever. This, this is it. Screw the PlayStation. So I ended up selling my PlayStation. Long story short and probably buy another one in the future i know i'm missing out on monster hunter worlds right now that's the only reason i was keeping my playstation anyway i bought a playstation for metal gear solid and then metal gear solid sucked well it didn't suck but it was missing a lot of stuff and it made me pissed off so i stopped playing it then i was holding on to it for monster hunter worlds monster hunter worlds comes out i'm banned i couldn't even play it so screw it i'm like well you know what i'll wait for the pc version i'll just play it on pc and i'm gonna go ahead and sell this fucking ps4 it's pretty much a useless brick to me anyway made a new playstation account realized i couldn't play none of my games had over 700 dollars worth of games on there couldn't play none of them I'm talking grand theft auto final fantasy 15 all the final fantasy 15 multiplayer packs and dlcs that came out and shit i couldn't even play none of them any of them i had to just watch videos online of other people enjoying their final fantasy game when i had paid for all of that already so yeah they got me they screwed me they got me but um yeah they took out the best developer i don't know why they did that it's all good though screw them i don't i, I won't be developing for their game that's that's oh you're talking about kojima that's who you're talking about you ain't talking about me i know i'm a developer but you're talking about kojima they took him away from it at the end of the game though the game still came out and i heard metal gear survive was trash anyway but look we're completely off topic here 